Everybody and welcome to another episode of the Motherland Experience. It's your girl Nye here, and today I have a wonder episode awaiting for you. I'm gonna be sitting down and chatting with this lovely couple, Miss Molly and Mr. David, as they share their amazing visit here to Ghana, their wonderful experiences, and ultimately how Ghana found them. So sit back, relax, and let me take you for a ride. with this lovely couple. I mean, we've just been chatting already even before the interview. This is just like organic. So I'm so excited to be interviewing them. So please help me welcome Molly and David to the show. Hi, you guys. Wow. Hello. Hello. Wow. How are you? We're doing, Fine. We're doing really well. well. Oh, <laughs> amen, amen. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. Mm -hmm. I am definitely honored. So please, can you tell our lovely viewers where you guys are from? Yeah, uh, we originally are from um, Sierra Leone, Freetown, Sierra Leone, but uh, we've lived in the U.S. for over 30 years. Wow. And specifically, we live in Riverside County. Uh, and um, yeah, that's where we live and work in. Okay, so Riverside Cal County. So are you Riverside guys from California? County. Yes, okay. we are. Okay, <laughs> all right. I knew I loved them. <laughs> <laughs> like the Cali connection. Yeah, My Cali brothers yeah, and sisters. Yeah. So how long have you been here in Ghana? Uh, on this trip, we got here on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've been here on Saturday, Saturday, leaving next Saturday. It was a quick trip. Oh, wow. That's a real <laughs> yeah, quick trip. Yeah, so we've been here before. Oh, okay. Um, so you guys have been here previously. Yeah, we mm -hmm. visited in December 21 mm -hmm. uh, for about eight, nine days, and we left in January 22. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so you're coming back mm -hmm. to Ghana. Yes. So I'm assuming you guys love it. Am I correct? <laughs> yeah. That's a good assumption. <laughs> <laughs> you said that's a good assumption. The fact that we're back. Mm -hmm. It's a good assumption. Oh, yes. well, well that's love. wonderful. So please, can you tell me why Ghana? Why Ghana? Um, mm -hmm. You know, we had the same idea in, um, you know, um, going back to have that African connection. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought about a country initially, Freetown, Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. but certain things didn't work out in terms of, you know, where we would like to live and all that. Okay. It just didn't work out. But when we came to Ghana, we, a, a bunch of different opportunities were open to us. So mm -hmm. we decided to choose um, Accra, Ghana. Okay, okay. Well, it was, it is, it was a wonderful choice. Yes, it was. It was yeah. definitely a wonderful choice. So what, I guess saying, like, what started your journey to Ghana? Well, like you said, um, you know, we plan to retire in a few years here. And um, we, were, we wanted to keep a connection to Africa. Mm -hmm. We, um, you know, I mean, we've lived in America, like you said. For me, it's been 40 years. Wow. Yeah, I was born in the UK, lived in Sierra Leone for about 15, 16 years, mm -hmm. and then um, moved to the US. So I've been there for over 40 years. Um, but we wanted to keep a connection to Africa, to, mm -hmm. you know, anywhere in Africa, particularly our home country. But like he said, um, we did explore several opportunities that just did not pan out. Mm -hmm. So, but we still, we just figured, you know, in the United States, you know, this, we move from state to state, you know, yeah. like Africa is Africa, but we, Ghana, it felt close to home for us, cultural mm -hmm. wise and all of that, it, it, a lot of similarities and, mm -hmm. and just being here the last time, we just, we really looked into it, mm -hmm. seriously considered it. We went back, started talking about it. Mm -hmm. And then I, I like to say Ghana found us. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> because, yes, um, <laughs> because then the opportunities that came just actually came to us. Wow. Yeah. So wow. We felt it was a good fit. 
That's amazing. Yeah. So you're saying that yeah. Ghana found you guys, mm -hmm. okay? Yes, kind of like, I guess it was a calling, mm -hmm. I guess, to come to mm -hmm. Ghana. To so to with Ghana. you finding that kind of like that African connection, yes. you wanted it to be on the continent. Mm -hmm. How do you connect with Ghana in terms of the culture, the vibe, the people? How is that for mm -hmm. you? Well, I'll tell you, um, I like the, you know, just people just being so welcoming, polite and uh, that's one. Um, the specific area where we've chosen to live, mm -hmm. I'm a lover of nature. So mm -hmm. the, the lush vegetation, mm -hmm. the animal life, you see the flora and the fauna, you know. Yes, definitely. And, um, <laughs> the chirping of the birds, just where mm -hmm. I always tell my wife that I just need some serene environment. Right, you know? exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and so yeah. that, that just suits what I'm, I've been dreaming about. And mm. then, and that also the nearness to grocery store and everything else mm -hmm. closer to that uh, serene environment, which seems so far away. But the city has a lot to offer because yeah. I've looked at that like, where do I get food? First of all, <laughs> was it, where, do, where, does he get <laughs> where, where do I get food? Where do you get food? Where do I get food <laughs> and, and other things that we basic needs. Uh, mm -hmm. where our basic needs can be met in that in a brain environment. For me, I, l I love the just the opportunity like yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, somebody just walked up to us and goes, here's some bananas from your land. And we started eating them. Oh. It was so sweet. And just, you know, just having access to just fresh yes. food, fresh vegetables, mm. fresh greens that you know, hasn't been hastened to the store by all kinds of GMOs, you oh, know? right, um, right. <laughs> it's just, it's been nice. We've been enjoying that. Mm, mm -hmm. Well, you, you're definitely right. It's so <laughs> nice being in an environment where it's kind of, like you said, nature-esque, no GMOs, mm -hmm, you know, exactly. in the fruits and the veggies. Mm -hmm. It's really fresh and you can taste it. Yes. Yeah. You really, really can. And it actually makes you healthier. Mm -hmm. yes, it, does. Yeah. it does. It makes yeah. you, it makes you healthier. So mm -hmm. in your words, both of you guys, I'm asking this. What's one word to describe Ghana for you? What does Ghana mean to you? For me, uh, one word. Mm -hmm. Welcoming. Welcoming. Welcoming, yes. Mm. Very welcoming. Okay, so well, welcoming. Let me know if you want me to expand on it. Yes, <laughs> please. Because I'm like, welcoming, welcoming. In well, what way? Um, the reception of the, the people that live here, the, the culture is such that they're very warm mm -hmm. in terms of how you'll be received and um, they're quick to offer assistance, even if you don't need it, but that's yeah. part of the culture to make you feel comfortable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at exactly. once. Yeah, so that's why I said welcoming. Even working with um, people who are involved in real estate, mm -hmm. they let you feel still as if you're at home. Mm -hmm. So all that um, anxiety that we have, yeah. they kind of help us to calm down and let you feel it's just like my home country right. you know, just like yeah. welcoming mm -hmm. enveloping and just that exactly. Ghanaian hospitality, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Ghanaian hospitality. so what's <laughs> one word for you molly rest i would say oh, okay rest. rest it's like both times i've been here i've just really felt a peace mm -hmm. you know um a move such as this although we're, we're going to be sharing time yeah. um we won't be here 100 percent because our children are in the u.s Oh, okay. Um, but both times when we're here, we've really just felt just at peace, mm -hmm. you know? Um, it's right. It's right. Yeah. It's right for that you. That feeling. So, mm. yeah, that's, that's what I feel. Wow, wow. Well, being in the West, mm. you know, it's like a rat race. Yes. In there, you can just yes. like find serenity and mm -hmm. calm. It's a very peaceful country, mm -hmm. exactly. you know, so you can just finally chill. You know what I'm saying? You know, I noticed that mm -hmm. this time around, I guess because we were so eager to get here the last time, but this time I try to be present to take things in. Mm -hmm. And at the airport, um, we were waiting for our luggage and there were so many people around the carousel. There are mm. times almost you could hear a pin drop. People just quietly waiting for their luggage. No wow. shouting, no pushing, no shoving. <laughs> I was like, wow, just mm -hmm. calm, you know. It, it, that's, that's the Ghanaian environment. <laughs> it really is. And it's it's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, you is. know, in my opinion, mm. being from the West, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a breath of fresh air. Yeah. So kind of leading to that, what do you feel that Ghana has to offer you that the West could not? 
Well, to be piggyback on what my wife says, this, uh, that um, condition of rest, first mm. of all, um, the environment, <laughs> if you plan to live in a remote section, mm -hmm. you know, we can talk about as rural areas, whatever, the town also provides what you need. Um, and also you have the assistance of welcoming people mm -hmm. that are, will extend a hand to help you get what you need versus the West where we have to <laughs> yeah, think exactly. everything mm -hmm. is individual. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very individual. Yeah, you don't feel like there's a team of people collaborating yeah. with you, yeah. but you just have to go over every little thing that you wanted. And so mm -hmm. that is home, feels like home. Feels like yeah. home. For me, it's even more than that. We're professionals, educated, mm -hmm. uh, terminal degrees mm -hmm. and all of that, but yet, and don't get me wrong, we're really thankful for what the West has offered us, an mm. opportunity to get educated and uh, make a living and all of that. But still, as a Black person, yes, um, there's spaces and places that we find ourselves that it, it doesn't matter. We don't walk around with a degree on our forehead, but we just want respect. Mm. Right. But just by virtue of your color, there are places mm. you walk into or environments you find yourself or discussion tables that you find yourself, you sense that mm -hmm. because of the color of your skin, and it's not everywhere, mm -hmm. but you're often reminded of it. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so definitely. Me, being <laughs> in a place like Ghana, among people of all walks of life, and mm -hmm. just feel like you're home. It's, yeah, every time we come to Africa, whether it's in Sierra Leone or here, mm -hmm. it just reminds me of that fact that we come from strong people, mm -hmm. great people, educated people, people that are, you know, blue color, white color, whatever you want to yeah. call them. But there's that basic respect mm -hmm. regardless because there's no distinction in what we look like as far as color. Exactly. So for me, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, that's what Ghana or, you know, Africa has to offer me mm -hmm. that I don't care how long you live in, in the West, mm -hmm. you will be reminded of every day, practically <laughs> every day. You will be reminded yeah. of your of your color. That's right. why you know I tell some of brother uh, fellow brothers and sisters here that you know over there, it's kind of woven into that society mm -hmm. of racism. And here, you don't have to go through that, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, it is. it's a beautiful feeling seeing it is. black people on the billboards, yes. all the money. Yes. It's like okay, you right. know, you can really like get into it. Mm -hmm. It's just wonderful. So. What's your favorite Ghanaian dish? I'm gonna start with you. <laughs> uh, yes. the, the fish and uh, banku mm. and tilapia. I enjoy that with my hands too. Wash my hands. Oh, so you be getting all in it, huh? Oh man, getting all into that. Ooh. So that's my favorite. And of course there are many others, but mm. talking about that, um, it, it's not a high carbohydrate content, if you will. That right. Banku, it, it's, it's in between the heavy rice. Mm -hmm. So that will be a good substitute for me in terms of the carbohydrates because I try to minimize yeah. the carbohydrate content. Kind of like have a well-balanced meal. Well-balanced. <laughs> so there's carbs, there's the, the protein prepared whole fish. Mm -hmm. I don't like the filet. Because I like get that the, in America. Right. We're used to filet. I like the whole fish. <laughs> you like the whole fish. You're a whole fish guy. Exactly. Huh? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Just do see like the this. skeleton and the bones. You want to see it all, huh? That's why I can mm. back to Africa. My kind of guy. What about you, Molly? I don't know if I have a favorite one because there's so many overlaps in some of our dishes, mm -hmm. like the jollof rice. I was telling him yesterday we had lunch um, at what's the place? Hill. Hill Beauty. Oh, yeah. Hillary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we had lunch there, and the Every. jollof yeah, rice. Every. The jollof rice was so similar. I know we get into all the jollof rice wars, but <laughs> I know <laughs> there's a huge Everybody war about jollof rice. Right, jollof like rice. Jollof rice. Jollof rice. Yeah. yeah. Ghana. Who it's started so funny, it? So now it's gonna get <laughs> even crazier because my daughter is married to a Nigerian, and here we are in Ghana. Oh, so okay, uh -oh. <laughs> it's the whole Sierra Leone Nigerian Ghana, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it was so tasty. 
Um, I like the goat soup, mm -hmm. but a lot of the, the foods overlap with what we're used to. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, we had um, the uh, mackerel stew yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was so delicious, but again, it's so similar to what we're used to. So right. for me, it's just that familiarity mm -hmm. in a lot of the foods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a similarity mm -hmm. there. So it's old hat for you. Yeah. You can just like yeah. come and, you know, just eat the food <laughs> and ingratiate yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so segueing from that, you guys are landowners here, mm -hmm. am I correct? Yes. Okay, landowners with Royal Kingdom yes, Estates. Yes, All right. Yes. So what led you to Royal Kingdom Estates? <laughs> <laughs> You want me to take that? I want to take that, and then if I have to add to that, I will. Okay. Uh, again, I say Ghana found us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because honestly, when we came the last time, we were so excited. We actually started to look. There was a place that I won't name mm -hmm. that we almost bought property. Okay. And then we kind of felt we were moving too fast. Yeah. So we said, let's go back. Let's go pray about it. Let's mm -hmm. think about it. And then the weeks turned into months and we just kind of lost the interest, not in Ghana, but mm -hmm. in that particular place. Mm, okay. And then my brother called me up and said, are you still considering Ghana? We're like, yeah, but we don't want to buy over at that certain place. Mm -hmm. He goes, I'm going to put you in touch with this person mm -hmm. if you're interested. Next, I got a call from someone I ran and found my husband I'm like listen to this I said my brother Francis called and <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is what he said and mm -hmm. we talked to the guy like wait can it be this easy it mm -hmm. actually was wow <laughs> it actually was so we bought several plots and um the rest is history. The rest is history, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the rest yeah. is history. The rest is history. We're glad we were prepared to take mm -hmm. advantage of that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And we just felt right about it because we, we pray about everything. And uh, we right. do, mm -hmm. we, we had the peace about it. Mm -hmm. So we just continued to, um, you know, deal with Royal Kingdom. Oh, and, Royal Kingdom. Uh, and, and the great people that staff that that's there. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. awesome. You know, yeah, we're cool. really, really awesome. It's. It feels almost like a family. Yeah. It really does. It yeah. feels like a family. So what do you feel that Royal Kingdom Estates has to offer that, you know, you know, the company out here maybe doesn't? I don't know if we've compared it to any other mm -hmm. because it was our first stop as far as dealing with someone. But the ease of how everything happened, mm -hmm. it's a daunting experience to be away yeah. and to make that. <laughs> You know, and I kept on asking my husband, are you sure? Are you sure? Are right. you sure? But they just made it so easy from buying the land to, you know, acquiring our paper registration, our, mm -hmm. what's the blue? The indenture. The indenture mm -hmm. and all of that. Uh, they made it so easy for us. Mm -hmm. And um, between Danny and um, Desmond and being able to be accessible mm -hmm. for, you know, just WhatsApping a quick question, um, you know, and we love the location. It's He's beautiful. in love. Oh, it's beautiful because you guys have great <laughs> city land, right? Yes, we have great oh, city. Oh, wow. So what, what would you say when you first stepped onto great city? What did you think? <laughs> well, uh, like I said, it's the environment that I prayed for in terms mm -hmm. of where I out of uh, a location that's hustle away bustle, from the yeah. hustle and bustle. Mm -hmm. So I just see a future potential mm -hmm. in a place which eventually would, um, you know, solve all the needs right. with, you know, with exactly what my dream will be. Oh. So I know Grace City is going to <laughs> offer that to us, you know. Mm. Yeah. So it's your dream spot. Uh, dream, yeah, my dream it's spot. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's his beautiful. dream yeah. ideal. As soon as I see vegetation <laughs> mm -hmm. that's lush, you got me. Oh, uh, so. well, we that's a lot to up offer. At the top level <laughs> mm -hmm. of our, our home that's been built, and we're just looking out at the vastness. It's mm. just green and hills and valleys. And, <laughs> and then we got a, uh, a rain shower came through and the birds. And it's like, wow. just waking up to this every day. <laughs> Is it, isn't it amazing? It, is. it really is. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. It's just, it's awesome. Great city mm -hmm. is just, is wonderful. The location yeah. is just location. absolutely breathtaking. Mm -hmm. yes, so I know is. 
you guys are just in love. Yeah. Okay. Yes, right. You guys are just in love. Exactly. We waking can't up to wait. that. <laughs> waking up to that. Anna Bree. Oh, well, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I can talk to you guys for hours. This has just been a wonderful conversation. Thank you guys so much for coming on the channel and sharing your experiences. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank, thank you, you so much us. for the opportunity. Oh, thank you. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please share this information with others. Until next time. Bye.